Hi, I am Shreel Adekam with Shunil and in this video, I am going to show you how you can fulfill orders using CJ Dropshipping app. So adding products is a hassle from CJ Dropshipping app, which I have explained in the previous video, but fulfilling orders is also very confusing. So I am going to cover that part in this video. I am already logged in in my Shopify test store and I have imported a product from CJ Dropshipping app. So now I will place an order from the store and then I will show you how you can fulfill it as well. So I am already in my website. It is a test store created just for the purpose of making videos. So we will go to the product. I will just select this product. Select the variants and add to cart or just skip the cart and go to the buy it now. Now I am redirected to the checkout page. I will have to add some details. I will add my uh, fake details, of course. And I am using a bogus or test payment gateway, so I don't actually need to add my card details. I will just add some random details here. Of course, it is not like you can see them. <laughs> then pay now. The order has been placed, and as you can see, it is showing that order is confirmed. These are details of the order. This is subtotal. Now I will go to the backend and see if the order is processed on the backend as well. As you can see, this is the order that I just placed now for $51.99. Now I will go to the CJ Dropshipping app to place the order. So this is the CJ Dropshipping app. Let's wait for it to be open. And you can see in the panel here. This is the left panel showing options for the admin, CG admin of course, with the stored products, listing records and orders. Of course, we have to go to the orders. So I will select store orders. As you can see, an order in the imported. You can see all the details of the order, like what was the store amount of the product, when the order was placed, how much is the cost and shipping of the CG dropshipping app. What were the customer details like shipping address, email, name, etc. We can also add modify these details from these three buttons. So if you click it, let me just close it. So if we click this, we will see the modify product or added address options. We can also change our shipping method. This is the default method that we selected when we were importing the product. But if you want to change it now, you can just click on the select button and select whichever shipping method you want to use. I will just go with the CJ uh, packet sensitive. So now let's start processing the order. I will select the order and click add to orders picking. It will start going to the next tab step by step. Whenever we process some details, it will go to the next tab. As you can see, there are a lot of tabs here. So let's go to the orders picking. Here you can see the details are processed. Now let's click on it again. And you can see the details of all orders. If there were multiple orders, we would select all of them. And then we would click on the submit button. This will redirect us to the awaiting payment option where we have to make the payment to proceed further. So let's click on the submit button. Here you can see that the details are loaded. You can see all those details here. If there are multiple orders, those would also appear here and the subtotal would appear here. Now we have to click on the submit button. Now we have to select the payment method that we want to use. For example, pay with card, then agree to the terms and conditions and pay button. I am not going to proceed further from here because of course I don't need to actually fulfill the order completely, but it is pretty basic from here. As you would have already known how to place orders on Amazon, Etsy, etc. So the process is same. Now let's go back to the orders tab, fulfillment tab that we were seeing so that I can explain more about the further steps. When we are done with the payment, it will move to the pending tab. So this tab means that the payments are done, order is placed, but the supplier hasn't received the order or didn't start processing it. Once he accepts the order, it will go to the processing tab. Now they are waiting for the supplier to dispatch or ship the product. Once he has dispatched the product, he will update tracking information, etc. And the order will move to the dispatch option. Once the order is received by the customer, it will go to the completed section or closed section. If there are any issues with the order, for example, shipping address wasn't correct 
it will go to the abnormal orders option and if you decide to not fulfill any order you can send it to the trash section so this is all we needed to cover in this section let me know if you have any question in the comment box of course and i will make sure to answer them and don't forget to subscribe my channel and like the video thanks take care